In this video, we'll take a look at offsetting vectors. Okay, so let's say that you've got your design and maybe you want to create a copy of this around the edge of this at a certain size. So you can do this by selecting down here to offset vectors. So if you select it, and then you can select the distance. So let's say I want this to be a quarter of an inch. You can select to either go inwards or outwards. Now you'll notice that it says outwards and then right, inwards and then left. Okay, so these are two different methods. Okay, if you've got a closed shape or a closed vector, then you're using inwards or outwards. Okay, and that's what we're going to do at the moment because this is a closed vector. Okay, I'll explain left and right in a moment. Okay, I'm not going to bother with these just for the time being, and I'm just going to come down to offset. So this is going to create an offset that's inwards and it's a quarter of an inch. Okay, so it's created this offset. Let's undo that. Let's go outwards by a quarter of an inch. That's created a, an offset that's outwards by a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's how you can create a copy going outwards like that. Now, if I undo that, you can turn off select resulting offset. So if you noticed on the previous one, if I just turn that back on, it's selected. So you can then offset again and you can just keep on doing it if you wanted to. Now, if you wanted to, you could just turn off that select resulting offset and it would just offset it and keep the original one selected. Okay. Now, you've also got delete original vectors. So if I were to do that and offset, it just leaves the offset. Okay. I don't personally like doing that because you can just delete them afterwards anyway. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so let me turn that off. Now you've also got then the bottom here, disable interactive offsetting. Now what's that? Okay, so that is if I didn't want to do this over a set distance, I just wanted to bring it out until it looked right. What you can do is hover over the actual line or the vector. So you'll notice that the cursor changes to this solid black cursor. Now this means that you can just drag this vector out until you see fit. So if I select that, hold the left mouse button down and drag out, you can see that it gives me this basically an interactive offset. Okay, let me undo that. Now if I turn that option on, I can't do that. Okay, if I tried to drag that now, it would actually move the vector. Okay, so let's turn that back on. Okay, so let's explain the right and the left. So if I delete that and I draw a line from there to there, and I'm going to draw a line from there to there. Okay, so let's go back to offset vectors. So let's select that there. Okay, so I want to offset both of these lines, let's say outwards, okay? So this one, I want to move this half an inch and I want this not outwards, I want this, think of this as a, a single line. So it's either left or right. So I want to move this to the left. So if I select left, offset, that's fine. Now I know that I'm going to have a problem with the next one. So if I select that one, and I want to move this one to the right, okay? So if I try to move that to the right, it actually goes to the left. Now why is that? The reason is the way that I drew it, okay? So you see how I've got this green point, which is the start point, going down to the red point. 
So it's actually drawn in the opposite way around. So you have to align yourself with that start point. So it is actually going the right way. So if I wanted that to go the other way, I need to do it to the left, okay? Now, if that is a little bit confusing, what you can do is, let's delete these. You can either draw it the same way that I drew here. So I went from the bottom to the top. This one, I went from the top to the bottom. So you can make sure that you do that, or you can select it and then right click on it and select reverse vectors. And then that puts the start point to be at the bottom. So now this is the correct orientation for the way that I'm actually looking at it on the screen. So if I go to offset, this time I can do it to the right because that's the way that I'm looking at it. So if I select offset and it goes to the correct position. Okay, so that's one thing to bear in mind that this start point basically denotes where or the orientation that you're actually looking at it.